guys, Nicole Lee Curie Prepper here. Sorry, I found the sound a bit funny. Got the whole strep throat thing going on. Uh, I kind of wanted to bring you out here to show you this view. Um, the lady that I talked about uh, who gave me the true utility things for my birthday and that I come and clean for weekly. Um, she had to make a trip to Florida. She's on some kind of board and they had a board meeting up there so she had to fly down there and asked me if I would stay at her house to make sure her four cats get fed and there's one of them, there's Billy <laughs> and Mike and this cat. Her eyes are so beautiful. Oh, that's Ernie. Smoke has disappeared and then she has a mama cat outside as well. So just sitting here catching up on some videos. I want to say thank you to Rick at Tack Hill. He did a giveaway for some awesome lanyard works that he, he does. These things are like phenomenal. Um, and uh, the Michigan Woodsman one, John. Uh, so I've been checking his channel out and he's got a lot of cool content. He uh, paid it forward to me, is when he paid forward to me, and I thought that was extremely generous. This community just keeps on giving. Um, so, when Rick sends me the package, um, I found a gal on his channel that I would like to split my winnings with and send her something from that as well going around because I got a paracord bracelet from Rick and a small lanyard in the one that he sent me when he sent me a package check out that view guys is that not sweet you can tell we're uh, Michigan Ohio State family divided here <laughs> this is a river they call it the Fremont River Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> There's some of the yard work I have waiting for me right there. All that mulch she wants in her beds. I mean, check out this cabin. Is this not the coolest thing ever? It's a trailer. A regular sized trailer that she had sided with cedar. And she just had that garage built on um, last fall it's just beautiful so I've got some mulching to do in all these flower beds lots of flower beds she's got a big old German Shepherd so her whole backyard's fenced in I just love it out here and check out this porch. This porch is like the coolest. Look at that. This wrought iron. Is that not slick? We had a bit of flooding go on. So I uh, had to rope off this area because as you can see there's sinkholes all over. But uh, yeah, it's just an amazing day out here. Too bad I'm sick, <laughs> but I might be able to do a little fishing, playing, being off work. I just don't want to get anybody else sick. I started my uh, antibiotics today, so we'll see how that goes. I love those signs. I sell those up at a craft shop. No, Willie, get back. Back. Thank you. And so I wanted to do that shout out to Rick. And also to Michigan Woodsman. Very awesome guy. He turned some lights on so we 
can see what I'm gonna get into here soon. I went to Walmart. Got me a Walmart bag. Of course, I'm the only person that would travel over here with like three bags, <laughs> big bags, full of all my, excuse me, prepper gear. Because I knew I was going to get into some projects. If I got bored. And my project is going to consist of trying to do some of my own work. I don't have my bracelets. Because I just woke up not too long ago. I had a late night. Because I went home to visit Michelle and Sasha. And then had to open up my mail. And put my mail videos on. Ended up falling asleep in the chair at home. So. Then I came here probably about 11 o'clock. Stayed the night. Watched some TV. I got this one. Uh, they have these at Walmart. They're generally 18 foot in the craft department. Um, but, of course, the special ones, they want you to pay a little bit more for, so they only give you 14 foot. But this, the white bits glow in the dark. So, I thought that would be cool to stick on, like, my knives or my fire kits or something that you'd be afraid to lose at night flashlights maybe um and these were a dollar 97 for the small ones in the craft department i got that one I had a bunch more picked out but then i got michelle popping up in my head saying Stop spending so much money. Which, she has every right to be concerned. She's the accountant of the family. So, I probably had about eight of these picked out. And I put them back. Because in the camping section, I found these. And these were 50 foot for 427, I think. Oh, here. We can tell you right here. Wally World. Yeah, the 50 foot ones were 486 for these ones. And then I've been wanting this kind forever. It's got the uh, the red core thread and light with any fire. Um, the fire starter one inside of it too. So, I've been wanting that for a while, and this one was 484 for 30 feet. You can tell the quality in this is a lot better, too. It's thicker. So, yeah. Rick, where did you get your paracord? Because the Walmart stuff feels pretty cheap compared to what you have. Yours feels like some pretty thick stuff. Like this stuff does. So I got those. Michelle wanted the blue one, so I got her some blue. We'll do a blue and black or something for her. Um, and I picked up some clips. These were... Dollar ninety-seven for two of them. And I was at Tractor Supply and I found since I have my new knife with the uh, slingshot inside of it. My shred. I figured I'd pick up an extra one of these. These were on clearance. I paid a, a buck and a quarter for a replacement. It's by Daisy. Replacement band kit. So, 
Well, I thought that was pretty darn good for a buck twenty-five. Can't go wrong, right? And then I also found uh, <laughs> some chicken poop. 100% pure free-range chicken poop. Lip junk. Put, put, put it on your lips. <laughs> Contains no poop, it says. It's all natural, cosmetic, moisturizer, you know, avocado oil, jojoba oil, lavender essential oil, sweet orange essential, vitamin E, beeswax. My mom loves her lip glosses, so I thought she'd get a kick out of that. A Simon Chicken Bone Natural put on. <laughs> so, she'll get a kick out of that. And that was it for my Walmart haul. So, uh, hopefully today, sometime, I might attempt to make some bracelets. Or, if I'm feeling up to it, I might go do some fishing. I grabbed my fishing license last night. Or, actually, a couple nights ago. Because they, they check hard out here. It's not feel like fishing in my backyard where I never see anyone. Plus, you know, license go to keeping, keeping others from poaching and whatnot. So I'll do my part and buy my fishing license. All right, guys. That's it for me at Lake Erie Prepper. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to catch up on some more videos and see what the day has in store. Alright guys, have a great one. Bye.